It's the lighter side with Bailey and Jack. You mad about this woman that uh, gave birth to 16 children? What's wrong with 15? Why couldn't you have stopped at 15 kids? 16 freaking kids. Not only that, I'll tell you what their stupid names are. And I'll tell you why their names are that. Because, you know, they're, they're Christian. That's why. They're insane Christians. So the kids' names, Joshua, John. Oh, wait, they slipped a D in. David from the Bible. Jana, Jill, Jessa, Jinger, Joseph, Josiah, or Joyanna. Dash A N N A Jeremiah a Jedda J- Jedediah now who the hell names your kid Jedediah Jason James Justin and Jackson Le- Levy. Okay, I just like to point out, Jinger is pronounced Ginger. Jinger? Yeah, Jinger. Is that Ginger? That's Ginger. <laughs> 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 I like Jinger better. <laughs> hey, it's my kid Jinger. <laughs> well, that Fine. would make a great name. Pronounced wrong. I, I believe that's a ginger. Fine. Ginger. But as you see, every name except David starts with a J. Why? Because of Jesus. I'm surprised they don't have a Jesus in there. It's probably because they hate Mexicans. My mom, her parents back uh, 1900s, that's when they were having kids in the, in the teen. They had, I think, 12 or 14 kids. But back then, there's no TV. There's nothing to do. You got to sit across from her and stare at her. What are you going to do? You either punch her. Either go to work. <laughs> Why is it with you on punching women? Because it's like, what are you going to do for me? I There's probably that, that mentality back then of, you know, women, at, the, at the time. Back then, I think women, it's funny that punching her is like the first thing that comes out of your mouth. They couldn't vote. They couldn't do anything back then. There weren't, there weren't even cars. They were just developing cars. What are you going to do? Silent pictures. They, they, did they even have radio back then? They didn't have radio. They had nothing. You had nothing to do. You had candlelight. That's it. So I can understand why they had so many children back then, because there was nothing else to do. When there's nothing else to do, you screw. But now there's cable, there's TV, there's the Internet, there's cars, there's planes, there's things to do, and you have 16 kids. There's no reason to have 16 kids. I think in America you should be allowed to have as many children as you want. No. No, there, there has to be a I sense. love my brother. If no. I didn't have my brother, I'd be lost. Fine. You don't, yeah, you have one brother. You know he's not making any kind of money to feed 16 kids. And his wife, who apparently wants more kids, I mean, she's 39. The, 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 as it increases, as she goes on, you know the chances of her popping out some retards are 50-50. What makes you think that hasn't happened yet? I don't know. Just because it's not addressed in the article doesn't mean I that- think Jinger, I think Jinger <laughs> might be the retarded one. Ginger! That's why they named her Jinger. I don't know why you'd name a kid after a pair of pants. No. What's a pair of pants? Jackson Levi. Oh, Jackson Levi? <laughs> it's like, I like Michael Jackson, and I like Levi's jeans. I wonder if David feels out of place because everyone has a J in their name. <laughs> maybe he's not He maybe he's not Jim Bob's kid. I can't believe his name is Jim Bob. It's a great That's name. That's a joke. That's a walking joke. That's an American name right there, born right out of the trailer park. I'm telling you, David, he's going to snap. Because he's got a different name, he's going to feel isolated from all the other J's, Jinga, Jessa, Justin, Jackson, Jason, and David is going to go nuts. He's probably going to take out the whole family. <laughs> I'm serious. You you have now made this kid different. Only you. He might even be, only, <laughs> might even be black. <laughs> only you would work the miracle of childbirth into someone getting an AK-47 been, and killing everybody well, in the family. You know, i got to see a picture. What, what happens if they show the picture of these 16 kids and David's black? And see, David's 15. He's about that age where, you know, you're going through, you're going through those crises where, where you, you're, you know Jim Bob bought every one of his kids a gun. Everyone up until the 10-year-old, probably Joshua and the 9-year-old has a gun too. All right, if you've, if you've had way too many kids. Or if you'd like to. Don't, don't, don't call in. <laughs> I'm going to yell at you. Jack won't because he doesn't care. He's I sterile. think if you want to breed, you should. I have a master's degree, and I'm a receptionist. <laughs> the job market's fine for that. So if you'd like to have more kids and talk to Bailey about God, be sure to dial us at... I don't want to talk. Don't Bailey talk to Bailey wants to talk to you about this, no. so please call. I'll punch you in the call. stomach. Call. Lines are wide open. Wide open. <laughs> please feel free. Just like this woman's legs. The Lighter Side with Bailey and Jack. It's The Lighter Side with Bailey and Jack. I'll tell you how you know if a woman's crazy. You don't really know if a woman's crazy until you marry her. Because after you marry her, that's when they have their claws sunk into your back. And that's when the real person comes out. When I married my wife, who's now my ex-wife, I adored her. Then we got married. 
She became anorexic, and she became crazy. Was that any of your fault? Okay, I'm sure there are things that I did to help bring about her lunacy. I'm not an easy person to live with or talk to or have as a friend or... Okay, I'm really just not an easy person to be around. Is that with just with women or is that with guys? That's with everybody. I'm just... It's just my personality. I'm not really a people person. No, I just... I, I'm, a, I'm just a tough person to be with. I'm tough to live with because I'm very stubborn. And, uh, you know, I, said th I, I say things that just come right off the top of my head, but probably without thinking. But how long were you with her? I was with her for five years before we... Okay. In those five years, did you ever say anything that just came off the top of your head? The first night we had sex, I told her... And this, I found out this hurt her feelings when we were getting divorced. I told her, you know, you're kind of meaty. I like that. The first night you had sex? The first night we had sex. Wait, wait, when you were married? No, this was before we were married. The very, was, very, very first very, time. Very, very first time. The first date, when we finally had sex on the first date. We, I move a little quicker than you do. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. I, I move rather quickly. I just want to make sure it's, I can move there. I'm sorry. That's I'm six, not the rapist. That's you are. six month. Deadline, it's not six it? months. It's not six months. <laughs> Current girlfriend, it took uh, one date. There you go. One date. Yeah. Boom. I was in. Yeah, Had so dates before. So you're almost a man all the whore. way. This girl, okay, it took a while because I didn't know she was screwed up in the head. Okay, well. I didn't make her that my, way. My ex was screwed up in the head and it only took me one date. Well, yeah, but you stayed with this crazy person for five years and you decided to marry him. Yeah. Well, Who's crazier? <laughs> that woman or you? Obviously. For, for proposing marriage. <laughs> To this crazy woman. Uh, I didn't even know her. <laughs> and I told you, don't marry her. Well, you weren't the only one that told me not to marry her. My no. father told me not to marry her. Yeah, and you you go against me and your father. And Did your brother, mother like her? My mother was okay with it. I think your mother just wanted to get you married. I think she probably thought you were gay. Like, the first time I met you, I thought you were gay. Thanks. I'm glad you Oh, I, I have gay. a wife. No, I was engaged when you first met me. I like, have a beautiful girlfriend. Didn't get married for a year after you met me. Yeah. Usually people get me. See, you change things in your life when they're not working. So apparently this relationship wasn't working, so you decided to marry her. No. To I... change up the relationship because it had gotten stale. Okay, after five there might years, be come some on. merit in that. There might be some merit in that. I'm you not going to deny you, that. This is, this is why women want to get married or why they, why they want to get pregnant. Because you throw something else, it changes the chemistry now. Now you're no longer the boyfriend. You're the husband. There's a ring involved. That's because they're crazy. They think that's going to work. Don't you fall into that trap. The Lighter Side with Bailey and Jack. Have you ever been hit on at a funeral home? No. But you wouldn't have a problem being here. I wouldn't know. I, w I wouldn't care. What if it was your I'm mother grieving. in the casket? I think my mom would really want me to move on. You know, she wouldn't want me that to quickly? grieve. My mom's very understanding. But I think my mom would like that. That you getting it I've, on. I've embraced the fact that she's passed on. And What if you I'm were in the on. funeral home and you were the last one to leave and this chick came up to you and it was you and her and your mother in the casket? Well, do you really want to go throughout the day feeling bad? Obviously, your mom is dead. If you care anything about your, your mom or dad or who's ever in the casket, do you really want to go around grieving? The lighter side. Have you ever had a woman come up to you and say, you know, I have women, a huge sexual appetite? Women don't come up to me. <laughs> for, for whatever whatever reason, I don't understand what it is. They don't come up to me. Okay. They'll look at me. Kids will laugh at me. Let me reverse have, the question. I have no then. problem with that. I wouldn't know where to go with that. Let me reverse the question then because I actually have ventured into heterosexual society. I have too. A couple times. And how's that working out for you? Well, that's, uh, I don't know where to go. I, um... <laughs> <laughs> the lighter side. You know, I like you as a person. Yeah, and but see. If I were a right. woman, I'd go out with you. Yeah, but see, that doesn't help me in any way because you're a guy. You'll always be a guy. It's actual females. If I decided to go into a doctor's office and have my penis mutilated into a no. makeshift vagina. No, I've seen that. Whatever the doctor did down there to you to make you look like a woman. Mutilated the penis. I don't think he could do anything to get the hair off of your back or your <laughs> ass. <laughs> That's the one thing. I don't care how good they are with a scalpel. The lighter side. She tells me that she'd like to go out with me. So... We end up going to a bar. So basically, had you a, stabbed nice your time. best friend in the back by taking the woman <laughs> who was loose out. She for wasn't a drink. loose. That's the thing. That's that's the uh, the nice thing. She's not loose. So she tells you she wasn't loose. So right. you're naive because this no, is no, the no. first woman you've ever been with, no. and you don't realize that every woman that tells you that is lying. I don't, I told her, look, I don't care how many guys you've been with or what you did. No big deal to me. And her stories have never changed. And she's. Um, let me tell you, she's a horrible, horrible liar. Maybe she's a horrible smart liar. No, she's not. She's not smart. Okay, she's she's okay, kind of smart. That's kind. She's kind of smart. I hope she's not listening to this show because you know if she is. Here's here's a, look at this. See this nice. I'm wearing a nice 
a titanium bracelet. Mm-hmm. Isn't this kind of nice? I don't wear jewelry. She picked this out for me. I paid for it. <laughs> I paid for this this uh, titanium bracelet. At what point did you have the nice. word sucker t- tattooed on your forehead there? I had that. I wore a hat. Yeah, that's all my hair over it. And she went to some website where you bid on stuff. She, she told me that she uh, won it. And she didn't have the money to pay for it right now, so I said, Is this like that class she wanted to take that she didn't have the money for? Which, yeah. uh, She took the class and uh, paid the three grand, and I don't know where that's going. (laughs) Yeah, how's how's she doing with it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe good. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't talk to her about it. I try to stay out of her business, you know, because the more I know, the more I You don't want to make fun of her failing? I end up, uh, you know, I hear something, well, maybe I need this, and I end up being the nice person. See, that's why I wish I was more like you. Or I said, you know, you go to hell. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna help you out at all. I don't say you can go to hell. No, well that is your attitude I, towards well, towards people. It's only because I think people are out to stab you in the back and use you every chance they get. <laughs> the lighter side. It's the lighter side with Bailey and Jack. Sixteen candles. That movie was me. I can I've watched that movie over and over again. So you looked at sixteen candles the character Molly Ringwald, and he said that that's to right. you. That's me. I love Jake. You are a Jake sick Ryan. person. No, the uh, Michael Anthony Hall character, Farmer Ted. That kid was me in high school. Pink shirt, jeans, trying to fit in, trying to be cool, trying to get some girl to like me. That movie just, that embodies me as a teenager. At what point did you think as a teenager, if I wear a pink shirt, I'm going to fit in? Was it because look, of the movie? Look, you saw no. this movie and it just warped your sense of reality that drastically? No, at the at the time, pink shirts on guys was in. There were turquoise Levi's, there were red Levi's. Pink shirts on guys were never in. No, that's not I true. I don't care what Maybe the movie says. Maybe not in says. Pittsburgh, but in Los Angeles, you where I grew up. You to bring up the Pittsburgh thing. But getting back to 16 Candles, that movie was me. And nothing made me so happy as to find out not too long ago that they're going to do... A 16 Candles sequel. Keep my feet from dancing. You don't understand how important that movie is. There's now, no John, better way to destroy a movie than to make a sequel. That's right? not... Oh, really? Then let's throw away Empire Strikes Back. Because okay, Star there are Wars exceptions was incredible. to every rule. No, oh, okay. But that does not mean that the rule does not apply. Yeah, sure, you have The Empire Strikes Back, you have Godfather Part 2, you have Terminator 2, which are all great sequels. Aliens. Aliens. Okay, so you have four. Now you're talking about... Sixteen Candles, which is one of those movies that you grow up with, you love. They're going to make a sequel of it. Odds are the sequel's going to suck. But with Sixteen Candles, me being a huge fan, I should be the one that says yay or nay to a sequel. Obviously, you wouldn't care to go see a John Hughes movie or a sequel to Sixteen Candles, but I would. In the movie, Molly Ringwald turned 16. No, here's the reason why this is going to I'm fail. not done with my point. Molly Ringwald, she's 16. She falls in love with some guy, and at the end of the movie, they end up together. Years later, Molly Ringwald and Jake are still together. They have a daughter turning 16. How will Molly Ringwald, who went through this, how will she deal with her kid who's going to turn 16? Who's directing this? Me. I'm going to tell you who's (laughs) going to direct this movie and why this sequel is going to be awful. 16 Candles sequel, not a good idea. You don't want to see what happened? Wait, did you even see 16 Candles? Yeah, I saw 16 Candles. Did you like it? I think it's a great movie. Okay. Here's the problem, though. It's a great movie that was made at a period of time when they could still get away with making great movies. Now Hollywood is run by business people. What's going to happen is they're going to pick someone who probably hasn't directed before. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Why not John Hughes? Because It's his baby. Why wouldn't John Hughes have a hand in it? They'll never get John Hughes. Why wouldn't they get John Hughes? Because I'll have someone else rewrite the script. I'll, I'll tell you why they would have to get John Hughes. Ron Jeremy will end up playing in it. Oh, you tell us what you think. Coming back after this, 16 Candles, a sequel. Should it be made? Should it not be made? I say yes. Jack Uh, Sullivan says... Absolutely not. And I think he's completely wrong. We'll be back right after this. The Lighter Side with Bailey and Jack.